one of the things that's been unearthed as part of Center College's preparations for Bicentennial is what must be the earliest uh, known movie footage of Center College campus and students. To find this, this earliest known footage is truly remarkable. The film footage that we found, it makes sense to me that it's a fraternity doing it. These are, are some of the featured scenes in the first part of that movie uh, appear to be taken at the uh, Phi Kappa Ta House, which was at 359 South 4th Street in Danville in 1930. Just the, the shots of students um, fooling around and laughing, uh, the one young man drinking Gordon's gin, uh, and the shotgun wedding. Shotgun wedding scene, um, I think, was a common fear of fraternity men who might be in a position to have pregnant girlfriends. Uh, in those days, if a, a KCW woman got pregnant, she would be sent home. Uh, they would say it very politely. Right? She might find it more convenient to ed be educated closer to her home. It's a great snapshot of jacking around by the students. Human behavior doesn't change very much. You, you pick up a movie camera or whatever the equivalent of it is now, uh, and people are going to do the same kind of foolishness in front of the camera now that they did a hundred years ago. To me it's quite moving because they are faces from long ago and they look like they could be on campus today, other than the fact that their clothes are dated and maybe a couple of haircuts are dated. But it, it brings us faces from, from the past and they're right there in front of us and I, I just think that's wonderful. It's really quite moving. I was blown away when I saw um, very early on in the movie, they're suddenly up in a plane. And I think it's wonderful that you could see the strut of the airplane. It's shot from a biplane. So it looks like something from, from Hell's Angels, that old Howard uh, Hughes, Howard Hawks film. I had no idea that you could put a camera on those old things, those old machines that you know, barely got off the ground. Uh, probably the newest building in that set is Carnegie, which was 1913. You can see, for example, the, the uh, Old Main, Young Hall, the football stadium, and the repositioned football stadium that's 90 degrees away, uh, angled away from Old Main. You could see uh, Old Center. get to see how small the trees were and how few of them there were. It's more like a field than it is today. Today we're used to it being a leafy campus. Well, it's stunning. It's stunning. It's mind-boggling to see that footage. I think that film of the co-ed graduation ceremony must have been the first one. When I saw that film, it just made me feel really happy and excited and to think back on those days and remember that we had a lot of wonderful years here at Center. Some things change and some things don't. We still have that graduation professions, uh, procession starting from Old Center. It's sort of to cap off your Center College career. They were doing that back then. It's traditions like that that make, help make Center College what it is. My father was named J.H. Doc Biles, and everybody called him Doc. And he came to Center oh, in about 1921 to teach physics. Well, Mary Ann Burke and I came to see the film, and I was sitting next to her. When she saw Doc in that old film, she just went, oh, there's my daddy. We think, we now know who some of these people actually were.
the film itself is nearly 100 years old. So that, that truly is uh, an astonishing find because it's footage we're not like to see again.